Hello, welcome back to the video you've all been waiting for, for the Gran Turismo 7 licenses, the Super License. If you did find any of these races helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Alright, so our first Super License Challenge, we are at High Speed Ring. We want to be careful as we get towards the end of this long left hander here, as if you don't let off, you will end up going in the wall. Our first breaking point is going to be just as we are going underneath the bridge and then we're sticking to the outside of the track try and get your car half and half on the green and the black tarmac and then we're braking at the 100 meter mark you want to stay in the middle of the track for this you don't want to hug the apex on the right hand side then we're going to upshift into third and then tap on the brakes down into second you're looking for the exit out of this left-hander to be as smooth as possible, that way you can gain the most amount of speed. For our final braking point, we're braking at the 50 meter mark. And we're going to dab on the brakes, again, we're sticking to the outside of the corner and then we're working our way in. And in total, for this challenge, it took me six attempts to earn gold. Now we're on to License Challenge 2 at Monza. Our braking zone for Turn 1 is going to be just before we get to the 200 metre mark. You can cut quite a lot of Turn 1 as you can see that I do here, but you can't really do the same for Turn 2. For the next chicane, the breaking point is at 200 meters. Again, we're going down into second. We can cut both of these curves quite a lot, but if you do it too much, you will invalidate your lap. As we're approaching the two Lesmos, our first breaking point is just before the 50 meter mark. Be mindful not to turn in too early here, otherwise you will hit the wall. And for the second Lesmo, we're breaking it a little bit further back this time. Breaking at the 200 meter mark, down into second, you can cut a lot more curb there than I did. Then we're applying full throttle and going up into third as we're going around this right hander. And our final breaking point is at the 150 meter board. And to earn gold in this challenge, it took me five attempts. For license challenge number three at Tsukuba, our first breaking point was when the fence on the left-hand side becomes solid paneling. So we've gone through the first couple of turns here, our breaking point is as we get off the kerb in here. Stick as close to the inside of the track as you can. For the next right hander we don't need to brake, we're just going to let off but make sure you turn in early enough. You can actually go over more of the kerb than I did there. For this right hand hairpin we're braking just as we get to the 50 meter board. And our final breaking point is just after we've gone past the 50 meter board, which you can see on the left hand side. And to earn gold on this challenge, it took me 10 attempts. For 
Got license challenge number four at Tokyo Expressway. We're braking at the 50 meter board. We're going to be sticking as close to the left hand side as you can. Four turn two, we're braking at the 150 meter mark. And we're going over all four apexes. So there's one. And there's two. Three and four. Careful on the right hand side because it is really easy to invalidate. And then we're raking at the 50 meter board. Again, sticking to as close to the right hand side as you can. Careful not to accelerate too early, otherwise you will end up hitting that left hand wall. Similar to our turn two braking point, we're braking at the 150 meter mark again. You want to really slow down for this corner so you can be as narrow and close to the inside as you can, which will then give you a good exit. Our next braking point is at the 50 meter board. And for this section, we're going to want to be feathering the throttle as we're going around the corners. You don't want to be braking here, we're just letting off. And then we're braking just after the 50 meter board once again. And for this license it took me 7 attempts to earn gold. Well, license challenge number 5, this was by far the worst one and the one I struggled with the most. When it comes to the first corner, we want to be as close to that left hand side as we can. We're just going to swing it in early and then same for the second turn here, we're going to absolutely fling it in. As we're going around this hairpin section, we're going down into third. Trying not to lose too much speed here. We're aiming for around 25 and a half seconds for the first sector. For this left hander again, so we're going to stick to the right hand side, just as we go over that bump we're going to brake lightly, down into third, and then we're, then we're going round. The next right hander again, we're going to turn in early, get as close to the right hand wall as we can. For the next section coming up, we're braking after we've gone past this GoPro sign on the right hand side. Braking, turning in early. Be careful that it's really easy to invalidate. Stick close to this right hand wall. And this left one as well. Be careful because there is a bump there that will unsettle the car. And on this final straight, just be mindful as there is two bumps that if you're not going straight, this will unsettle the car drastically and you will hit the wall. This license challenge took me 47 attempts to get gold, so don't worry, you, you know, if you're struggling you will get there. For license challenge number 6, we are at Trial Mountain. When it comes to our first braking point, we're braking just as we get to this yellow barrier on the right hand side. And we're going to need to brake quite hard here, harder than we normally would if we were to race this circuit in a supercar or a Group 3 car. We're just letting off as we come round this left hander. And then we're braking just before we get to the tunnel. And then we're going down into second. Stick as close to the inside as you can. And the next breaking point is just as we get to this rock where the person is standing on the left hand side. Just as the curb ends on the left hand side here, this is where we're going to tap on the brakes. And then we're going down into second. And then up into third before the tunnel. And then we're going to lightly dab on the brakes. And we're going to try and hug the inside as close to the gravel as we can.
And our breaking zone for the hairpin is going to be where the concrete barrier becomes a picket fence on the right hand side. And then just as we go past this tree stump on the left hand side at the crest of the hill, that's where we're going to break for this right hander. And we're breaking pretty soon after, just as we go past the start of the blue and white curbing on the right hand side. And for our final braking area, it's really important to get these two turns right because this will make or break whether you get the gold time or not. So we're braking when we're in line with the blue and white curbing on the right hand side. I broke a little bit late here, which then compromised my entrance into the corner. And then as a consequence of this, it then compromised my exit into the final corner meaning we only just beat this challenge by six thousandths of a second. To earn gold in this trial mountain challenge, it took me just over nine attempts. And for license challenge number seven, we're breaking just before we get to the number two board on the right hand side. We're going down into second, avoiding the sausage curbs because they are lethal around here. Next breaking point, breaking at the number two board again, avoid that sausage curb on the right hand side. We don't need to break around here, we can full throttle as we're going round. This left hand then will break in at the number two board, really vital to avoid this sausage curb on the left hand side here because that will unsettle the car and you will lose a lot of time and a lot of speed that we don't need to break, we can full throttle our way through this left hander as well. And as we get to the chicane, our breaking point is this white line or the number three board. We're gonna make the most of the curbs here. This sweeping left hander, we don't need to break, we can full throttle our way around, make sure to upshift into fourth as well. Next breaking point, just after the number two board, be sure to avoid that sausage curb on the inside right as well. And for our final braking point, we're braking at the number three board. Be mindful of the track limits on the right hand side because it is really easy to go off. And to get gold on this license, it took me 21 attempts. For license challenge number eight, we're in the Zonda at Interlagos. Our first braking point is at the 100 meter mark. We're gonna make the most of the curbs here as you really can be on the edge of track limits and not fail. This will gain you a lot of time and give you a lot of fallback if you do end up messing up later on in the lap like I did. It will take a bit of time to get used to this car and track combination as this Zonda suffers with really bad understeer. Our second braking point is just as we're approaching the steward's box on the right hand side. Our next breaking point is at the 100 meter mark. We're gonna coast round in third here. And then we're breaking just as we're about to go past the Puma signs on the left hand side. As we're approaching the corner on the left here, we're gonna dab on the brakes slightly, just to slow us down and get us rotated. Our, break, our breaking point for this right hand turn is where the green concrete starts on the left hand side. Be careful not to go too close to the grass here otherwise you will end up spinning like I did there and I reckon that I lost about three tenths by making that mistake there. Our final breaking point is at the 70 meter mark. You want to go down into second gear and you want to ride the inside curb there which will give you a good exit onto the final straight. To earn gold on this challenge, it took me nine attempts. For license challenge number nine at Deep Forest Raceway, our first breaking point is at 100 meters. We're staying fourth as we go around here, no need to break, we just let off. And then we're going to break as we get off the red and white curbs. 
as we're going around this right hander we're just going to tap on the brake slightly staying in second next braking point is as we go over this red and white curb and then braking as we go over the light coloured concrete For our final braking point, we're braking at 100 metres. Focus on your exit here because this will set you up for a strong finish. To earn gold in this licence challenge, it took me four attempts. And for the final challenge, license number 10 at Spa. For turn one, I chose to break where the concrete barrier goes out to the left hand side. We're going down in second, we're going to stick to as close to the inside as we can. Be mindful on the exit here as it's a very thin dry line, so we want to stick our left hand tyres as close to the white line as we can. As we're going down the hill, I was using this black signal box on the left hand side as my braking point. We're going to dab on the brakes slightly. Be mindful not to fully accelerate here, otherwise you will lose control of the car very easily. This is by far the most difficult challenge that we've done so far, so don't be afraid to put the braking zones on if you need to. For the chicane, we're braking just before we get to the 150 meter board. Be mindful going onto the kerbs here as they are wet, so this will cause you to lose control of the car. For the braking point at the hairpin, I was using this puddle on the left hand side. braking just before the 50 meter board you want to avoid fully accelerating here as the conditions are very damp so fully accelerating will cause you to lose control really easily we're then braking at the 100 meter board i broke slightly late here which puts us a little bit wide going into the corner again avoiding the curbs because they are wet we want to keep our tires as dry as possible we're then braking just as the exit slip road on the right hand side disappears out of view. For the next two right handers we're looking to apply very little throttle or coast around the corners. We're now coming up to the most difficult part of the lap. This part of the track is particularly wet and I couldn't tell you the amount of times that I ended up losing it here on a really really good run. So I found that the best thing to do is to let off and then just coast through it and then you'll be able to make any adjustments that you need to in order to stay on track. And once we've gone around the corner, we can then fully accelerate up until our final braking point at 150 meters. Going down into first gear. And then once the car is straight, fully accelerate and it's a sprint to the line. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how many attempts it took me for this one. I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know how many attempts you think it took me. For earning bronze in all these challenges, you will earn the Audi R8 LMS Evo 2019. And for earning gold in all these challenges, you will earn the Red Bull X 2019 competition car. And there we have all of the Gran Turismo 7 Super License missions completed. On the left will be a link to the Gran Turismo 7 License playlists. And on the right will be a link to a one hour endurance mission 